Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. Welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Unit 8, Topic 2 of AP Psychology, Psychological Perspectives and Etiology of Disorders. In our last video, we talked about the DSM-5, what constitutes a psychological disorder, and touched on how our legal system looks at psychological disorders. Throughout this video, we are going to be looking at different theoretical approaches in psychology and how they view abnormal behavior and psychological disorders. Starting out with the evolutionary approach, we can see that it often views abnormal behaviors as originating in an individual's genetics. Oftentimes, abnormal behaviors will stem from a genetic trait that has been passed on from previous generations. While the cognitive approach focuses on an individual's dysfunctional thoughts or beliefs as the cause of the psychological disorder, essentially the thoughts an individual is having misguide the individual to perceive situations and items incorrectly. The sociocultural approach looks at how an individual's gender, nationality, race, ethnicity, sex, or societal status impact their mental state. Psychological disorders may be specific to certain cultures or groups of people within a social group of society. The humanist approach sees psychological disorders occur when an individual has an incongruent self-concept. This approach believes that individuals in society who do not have positive regard, acceptance of themselves, or individuals who cannot satisfy their basic hierarchy of needs are more at risk for psychological disorders. The behavioral approach sees psychological disorders as being learned and maintained through conditioning. Abnormal behaviors that are reinforced will continue to exist. Here we have an environmental factor and consequences of behaviors impacting an individual. The psychodynamic approach views psychological disorders as the result of repressed unconscious thoughts. These could stem back to unresolved childhood conflicts or traumatic experiences that are being repressed. The biological approach sees mental illness as a result of abnormalities that occur in an individual's nervous system or brain. This could be due to structural problems with different parts of the brain or nervous system or chemical imbalances, such as an imbalance in neurotransmitters or hormones. Or if we look at mental illness through the biopsychosocial approach, we can examine psychological disorders from a variety of perspectives. Biological influences would include an individual's evolution, genetic factors, or structures of the body. Psychological influences would include trauma or stress, and social cultural influences would be different expectations put on an individual or roles an individual has has in society. Over time, more research has been done to try and understand psychological disorders and what causes them. Through this research has emerged more and more evidence that many disorders have a biological origin. This has become known as the medical model, which is the idea that diseases have physical causes that can not only be diagnosed, but treated and even cured. Now, before we get into our next video, where we'll start to look at different mental illnesses, I want to talk one last time about how psychological disorders are diagnosed. When mental illnesses are diagnosed, it allows an individual to get the help that they need, and it also lets the individual know what is happening with them. On the other hand, we can also see that when an individual is labeled with a mental illness, there can also be negative stereotypes that get applied to them, or it can make an individual feel like they have less control over their life. This is why it's so important to make sure that people are supportive of individuals who have been diagnosed with a mental disorder, and that when psychologists and other individuals are diagnosing people, they are careful to make sure that they get a correct diagnosis. Psychologist David Rosenhan did a study where he and seven other individuals went undercover and pretended to be insane to see if different doctors they talked to could tell that they were faking it. Rosenhan wanted to see how accurate the diagnosing process was. Rosenhan and the other seven individuals were all admitted and were all diagnosed with different psychological disorders. After being admitted, Rosenhan and the others did not show any new symptoms and even started telling the staff that the voices they had originally heard had gone away. But but the doctors did not believe them and continued to record their behavior as abnormal, even though they were acting normal. Rosenhannon observed that the staff accepted the original diagnosis and framed their observations around it, instead of looking at the individual from an unbiased view. Rosenhannon showed us just how important it is not only to correctly diagnose someone, but also how important it is to look at an individual for who they are, and not just assume that because they have a certain label, that that label defines them, or is correct. And just like that, another topic review video is done. Now you know the drill by now. Answer the questions on the screen and check your answers down in the comment section below. Also, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel and it's free. If you do need more help with AP Psychology, check out my ultimate review packet. It's a great resource that'll help get you an A in your class and a five on that national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time online.